Today's video is about working with multiple viewports that are hard to turn on and edit. So as you can see, I actually have three viewports in this video. I have this main big one here, I have this one here, and then this one right here. Uh, say I wanted to basically select this one uh, so I could change it to show the rest of the objects. And when I double click in here, I actually select the main one over here, the very big one. The best way to make this one the active viewport is to type in MV, enter, and then go down to your command line, you can see, and it says on. So click on on, and it gives you a little pick box. When you select the viewport, hit enter, and now when you double click to get inside, that makes that the active viewport. So you can then change uh, the size of it, and then you can double click to get out of it. And you can do that for multiple ones. So say if I want to do it on this one again, just type in MV for make view, go down to on, and then select that one and hit enter. And then again, you can double click inside. Another way to do it is basically you can just hit M for move, select them, bring them off, and now you can easily double click to each one of them. But if you didn't want to move your viewports and you wanted them to stay exactly where they are, uh, just type in MV, enter, O N enter and then select which one that you want and then you can just double click inside and get and do your changes within uh, try not to do this though when you are working in AutoCAD try to make the viewport just around the objects I know sometimes they try to some things happen uh, that you can't avoid but try to do this where you separate it and try to hug around the objects that makes it easier so you can select into each individual viewport 